Hey, I'm Tara, and today I am going to guide you through a really quick but effective chair yoga sequence. So this is great for those of you who are maybe working from home. Maybe your work from home setup is not really that ergonomically <laughs> correct for you. Um, this is just a nice way for you to really quickly work out some spots in the body right in your chair. Okay, so you'll see that I am set up with my chair. So this chair, you know, not exactly the best height for me, um, which is probably what a lot of us are working with at home right now. So I'm spending a lot of time like this, maybe slouched forward, kind of over a desk. What we want to do is just find a quick five minutes throughout the day where we can remind ourselves to sit tall, readjust, stretch things out. Um, I always encourage you to get up, go for a walk, and then come back. For this particular sequence, we're going to start kind of close to the front edge of your chair. So you might have to pull the chair back away from your desk a little bit. So we're going to be seated with the feet planted and try to align your feet so that the ankles are underneath the knees. We'll start with just a few simple rolls of the shoulders. So Inhale as you bring the shoulders up towards your ears. And then start to squeeze the shoulders back and then drop them down. So again, roll them forward up towards your ears. And then slowly pull them back towards one another and then down and back. Do that one more time. Inhale. And draw them back and then down and back. Now try to keep the chest open and sit tall just like this. Pick up the left foot and cross your left ankle over top of your right leg. And you might use your hand to help support you on the way here. So ideally, the left ankle is sort of resting on the top of the right thigh and the foot is flexed. Right, so we don't want to just let the foot be really relaxed here. Focus on finding that engagement. From here, lightly take the left fingertips to the left thigh or even plant the palm and gently, gently guide the left leg away from you. And you don't have to feel anything really intense in this pose. It can be a really subtle kind of stretch or pull through the hip. And then release that side. Set your left foot down. And then pick up your right foot and cross your right ankle over your left leg. And you might notice in your body that you have one side where the knee is lifted a lot higher than the other one. Don't worry so much about that. We all have one side of the body that's tighter than the other. So again, foot is flexed. Right hand gently push the right leg away from you. When you're doing this, try not to lean forward with your upper body. Stay tall if you can. And carefully release and cross the foot and set it back down. Now bring your left hand kind of onto the seat behind you, or you can grab to the back of your, the backrest, whichever is more comfortable, but again, staying tall. Take your right hand and place it on the outside of your left thigh. Inhale the top of your head towards the ceiling and exhale, gently twist. Look over your left shoulder. Slowly come back through center, and we'll just switch to the other side. So right hand behind you, either onto the seat or to the back. Try not to shift your legs or your hips when you create this twist, so this could be where you're at. Maybe you take the left hand to the right thigh and gently twist a little bit more to the right.
and really slowly untwist, come back to neutral. Now bring the hands together in front of you and interlace your fingers. Inhale. As you exhale, start to push the palms forward. Hollow your belly, tuck your chin, and just reach your back out behind you slightly. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sit tall, the arms extend up. And then as you exhale, bring your arms all the way down alongside the body and right to the chair behind you. So nice and close to the back edge of the chair. You're going to hold here and lift the chest, look up. And slowly come back to a neutral spine. Okay, one last little stretch through the wrists. So bring your hands together again, interlace them, but try to interlace them the opposite way, so the awkward feeling grip. And then from here, circle through the wrists. That's it. And just move in both directions. Release and shake it out. And then just let your hands relax back down. Just tuck your chin towards your chest. Close the eyes and take five really deep breaths in and out through the nose. Just calming breaths. So that you can return to your tasks at ease with a sense of calm. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick video. I hope that you are able to implement some of these movements into your workday at your workstation. Thank you. Peace.